That looks pretty darn good, actually. It's not too much cut off. It's perfectly kind of cropped, so I guess I'll just go with it as it is. pretty late. It's almost 4 o'clock. Almost time for me to finally do what I'm staying up for. <laughs> and then I can play the rest of the run and then I'll probably end up going to bed. This should not take me around 2 hours or 3 more hours, but uh, hopefully it'll take a decent amount of time. And then I can just do whatever else I want after. So, yeah. I guess it'll work out in the end. <laughs> I'm gonna turn them right down a bit because it's a little loud. For me, anyway. Uh, no frames being dropped as of yet, so it's pretty good. Hey, Black Snow, it's only 7 in the morning for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the thing is, though, is that I did not sleep yesterday. When I had to wake up early, I did not end up sleeping. So I've been up for almost 24 hours at this. No, I've been up for almost like another day. Oh, I don't even know. I've been up for a long ass time. <laughs> I did get like a couple hours of sleep, like a nap in, but after I did some work in the morning. But uh, <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, my friends went to bed. crazy people staying up even though my friend Chili Cheese has college and then one is just, I don't know, he's just not doing anything. <laughs> I used to work out but we all know what that means. Sleep game. <sighs> but yeah, hopefully some awkward of time will wake me up. I feel fine, it's just that like, I feel like I don't have any caffeine in me. I feel like I should have got a Coke or something, but I drank juice instead. <laughs> Trying to avoid that as much as possible, but fuck. Need that. Anyway. I really wish I can get homebrew and region my Wii. And then I can put this game in Japanese, which saves like. I don't know if in this category, but I know like in like categories where it's like the full game. I know it saves like 11 to 12 minutes. So I'm pretty sure it could save like maybe like 8 minutes or something like that. I mean, because most of the text is the. Uh, it's like. It's all the Master Sword cutscene all that cutscene like all that just saves so much time so I don't know <laughs> whatever works but I really don't have my copy of Brawl anymore so I can't get I, I think I can still get the homebrew channel but it takes a lot to set up it's kind of annoying so I guess I'm just playing scrub English version fuck that's not good So what are you doing up, Black Snow? I thought you said you were tired.
what's keeping you up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's some kind of reason for it. All rupee luck. Ugh. Oh, I stopped I stopped to read the chat and that's what happens. It's a good amount of rupees. I would pr I'd preferably want forty, but I'll deal with thirty six. Tired but don't feel like sleeping. Sounds like the story of my life. Fuck, I can't get that glitch. I know I'll never get it, but like, I just like to go for it. Oh shit. I'm gonna lose time on escape. Oh boy, I have not practiced Door of Door of Time Skip at all. That's gonna be fun to do tired. Interesting. Can't figure that glitch out for the life of me. I spent an hour trying to figure that out. What glitch? <laughs> Which one? Because if it's Zora Escape, I could easily teach you. It's actually like one of the easiest glitches in this game. Like once you know what to do, it's like just really easy. So far, so good. The escape one? Oh. What you do is that you, um... So you jump on the ledge, and you don't press any arrow. Like, you don't want to mess with any direction at that point. So, you wait till Navi annoys you. So, then you just mash B, or your sword, whatever. And that'll make Link do a jump slash. And when Link jump slashes in this game, he goes backwards a bit. So, when you land, without pressing any buttons, like I said... You just mash B, uh, Link will slash, and then he'll fall into the water. So when you slash and land, you press, you mash Navi, which means you have to have Navi annoying you. And that'll just, it'll interrupt the thing or whatever, and you can just skip to the bottom. And then you just rush into the, you just kind of just swim into the entrance. It's pretty simple. It may sound kind of confusing, but it's really obvious. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, doing it on keyboard also probably sucks, but 
It doesn't take any, like, really joystick movement, I guess, until you, uh... I guess, where you just kind of swim into it, but... The majority of it shouldn't be that bad. So how far did you get in your uh, Ocarina of Time de-rush stream? <laughs> when I passed out during... I didn't want to dive, dude. Why does this happen every time? Fuck. Like, I don't want to waste any rupees, so I'll try to pick some up on the way down. Nope. Well, that was a big waste of rupees. It's the second time I've done that in a run, like, for no reason. That was a late split, but not too bad. It's a gold split, I think. Wow. That's the fastest I've ever gotten a bottle. It could have even been faster if I didn't talk to the Zora, so that's improvable. Which is good to know. Oh, I gotta get my stuffs. You got through getting the ocarina and then stopped for the night? Okay. So you managed to beat the entire Deku Tree? I am impressed. Ugh, I'm bonking everywhere, dude. I hate it. That was really. This is really bad right now. The movement is not good. It was actually really easy. Now I'm behind a lot of rupees, which is not what I want at all. Like, I could have gotten by with the amount of rupees I had, but the fact that I wasted a whole bunch means I'm gonna have to make a bunch of different little trips, which ultimately means losing time. So, sad face. is going to be like this to me right now? No blues? Okay. Thanks a lot, game. Maybe I can get two blues. RNG. 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 And? Nope. That wasn't bad, though. I got a decent amount. I couldn't imagine doing the the bridge skip with the keyboard. <laughs> the welcome to Ocarina of Time, as I call it, just because the video.
The last thing you did was get ready to go to DC. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> DC is so broken, it's like pathetically easy. Like, even as a kid link, it's pathetic easy. There's like one glitch where you could just skip that little, like, where you have to go to that, uh, hallway and like you see like that little switch like right by that bomb flower like right there you can just like roll shield and then press A while you're shielding and that causes Link to like glitch out and you can just uh, try to do a backflip and it'll make Link like do a little jump in the air which is called like a ground jump or whatever and you just get up <laughs> you just grab the edge and skip like that entire little section Which skips like I think one Lizolfos fight, which would probably be sucky to do with a keyboard, so I don't know. I remember I played it with a keyboard for the first time. It sucked. I regretted it. <laughs> Ow. Unfortunately I need ten more, so this is gonna suck. I don't know why the run just doesn't get the free shield in uh, the graveyard, but I'm not going to question it. Well, let's see how my tired door of time is. I'm not expecting anything good. I want to do a run, so when I get it, I get it. So, yeah. If I don't get it, like, fast, I don't know. I'm not going to care too much. Like, I don't care that I'm losing time most of the time, it's just the fact that I'm failing a glitch that I shouldn't be failing, even though it's a silly glitch. Like, for the longest time, I would never practice it, and I'd, like, I'd go to a friend's house, and I'd be like, hey, watch this, and I'd do it for no reason, like, easy. But lately, I've been having trouble, so, I don't know. It's just the chokes or something. Run luck. You're gonna try it for shits and giggles. <laughs> Alright, I'll explain it to you. When the time is right. <laughs> Alright, door of time. Let's not troll me. And when I say that, I get trolled. Oh, that's a pretty good angle, I guess. Bad angle for some reason? I don't know how that was a bad angle. I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm getting the, the side hop, but I'm not clipping through the wall. What? Look at that! Like, what? I might have to invest on this, like, investigate what's going on, because I, for the life of me, can't tell what's going on. That looks ideal. Like, like, seriously? I could be, like, two minutes ahead for somehow, and yet, I just don't do the trick. That was it. I had it in my hand, and I don't know. I don't know. Seriously? Hey, God of Potatoes. What's up? Welcome to my stream. I didn't, ah, why am I not clipping, dude? What the heck? Am I too far to the... Uh. I 
don't know what the heck is going on with this glitch lately. Like, I'm not clipping. Look at that angle is perfect. And yet, I'm not clipping. Like, eh. I'm gonna pick a bad angle on purpose. You can do it, keep trying. <laughs> I'm trying, all right. All right. What? Are you kidding me? That was it. And I I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> wow. All right, whatever. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Garbage. I'm going to blame this shitty door of time skip on lack of sleep. <laughs> I'm going to guess that you tried to say shitty, but shoddy. <laughs> Unless that's just some kind of lingo I don't know about. God dang it, dude. I don't know why that trick is hard. <laughs> It's really easy. Oh well. And I forgot to split, that's okay. I don't want to look at that split right now. I lost a minute, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the land of uncontrollable ticks. <laughs> Tricks, I assume? I don't know. No, I purposely said that. I'm working on my cursing problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. I don't even know. Anyway, um, that's not a big problem. I can still save time. A lot of time <laughs> on wrong warp. I can save like 20 minutes <laughs> on the very end split. Because my first run was a bad run. It was really good. Everything was really good up until here, I guess. Yeah, because I failed the wrong warp once, and I had to watch the entire cutscene again, I think. I think is that what I did? No, I didn't fail the cutscene. I, um, I warped back to Temple of Time. So I had to do, I had to set it up again and go back. So as long as I can do a wrong warp first try, I'll be fine. You're loving that Gardevoir? Thank you. I'm glad that somebody appreciates Gardevoir as much as I do, apparently. Even though I don't know about that. That's the stretch, man. Six o'clock there, I should probably say good morning. Okay. <laughs> Back to judging it.
sorry about that. I wasn't reading the chat lately because I was typing or texting. Um, am I the only one who finds that coy or creepy? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I always found it just like annoying, kind of like oh, like <laughs> kind of singing is that? <laughs> but I'm not gonna criticize this game on its music. So, if I do manage to get good wrong warp at the end, take a good look at this uh, Temple of Time because <laughs> if I do this glitch, then you guys will probably notice a lot of things different. And if you guys are not going to be able to stick around for the end, I do have a highlight of it on my channel. My Twitch. <sighs> and cheek. So many cutscenes. They're in like a big toilet, I'd always think, because there's just water always going down the sides. So for those who don't know, uh, bashing A and B on text is kind of not really that important but like every time you see a blue text bar like a little blue thing an arrow or a square uh, that means I'm not mashing correctly every time you don't see one, like if I don't get 20 little squares I save a second <laughs> so it adds up but only eventually does it I think it saves a little bit more like obviously in Japanese and Chinese version for IQ but uh not that big of a deal, but it just takes forever. You just notice that Zelda is a what? <laughs> it's a she male. Oh, I gotta save him quick. Okay. So we go ahead and save warp out of the Temple of Time since there's nothing we can do right there. So now we gotta go to the uh, fishing pond minigame, but first we're gonna head to Kakariko and grab the pocket cuckoo from Anju, or I think she's just known as the cuckoo lady in this game. And if you notice that we have bombs on C down because the game is weird like that and uh, since I didn't have that many adult items it just gives me bombs by default so good game. And I'm also going to go ahead and put bottle on C left I believe. I'm going to think that's what I'm going to want to do right now. <laughs> Because we don't need a dick and nuts till late, much later. So, yeah, it's best to put them on the inventory for now. I <laughs> don't steal the hat this time. I still don't even know how that happened. Like I knew that was possible, but I never thought I'd get it by accident. <laughs> oh yeah, the most annoying thing in this game, pot. Pocket Kukos, yeah. So we're getting right now probably one of the most broken. I don't want, no. No, we already have the bottle, which is probably one of the most broken items, probably in in video game history, most likely. <laughs> but uh, we are getting the Pocket Kuko, which is definitely up there in terms of <laughs> brokenness, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and put that on C right. Because we're going to RBA it later. And now we have a long adventure to Lake Hylia. So. Hey, you ain't seen Moek. <laughs> ah, fuck. Hi, is this. Yeah, this is Wii Virtual Console.
Welcome to the stream, by the way. I am tired. <laughs> You always love the term pocket cuckoo. What the heck? I didn't mean to take that out. <laughs> Button errors. I'm pretty sure, like, if most of you guys, if the, my viewers right now are used to speedrunning, I'm pretty sure you know what this run is pretty much about. And I'm also using an outdated route, unfortunately. Like, there are new hardcore strats in this, but uh, I kind of like this route because it's just a really chill speedrun. And that's pretty much what I liked about this game, is that I'd rather just speedrun it for just chill and have fun. So, that's what I'm doing. Worst advertisement ever. Got a potatoes. I'm actually gonna collect a few rupees because my rupee count is very low. Twenty. That should be pretty good for now. Hi King J. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Get your new Pocky Kuko today. Are you in the midst of trying to break the game of Ocarina of Time? Well, if I got the item for you, it's the Pocky Kuko. Change any item into a glitched item. Never walk around again. Fuck. Okay, so what I'm trying to do now is steal the fishing rod, which is a very annoying glitch because it's kind of precise. And there we go, we got it. So you cast it away, um, and you can control Link, and for some reason you're able to open the door. <laughs> so now we have fishing rod on B, which is, you know, is interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the game does, but I. But I know that um, what this means is that the sword button is set to a value. Uh, this value is probably zero, I think. So. <clears throat> so yeah. <laughs> FYI. Now, what you want to do is press start when the button is dimmed. Now, I had a very unfortunate occurrence just now where the pocket cuckoo just hatched as that happened so I could not do the glitch yet but that's okay because there's another instance on my way back to Kakariko where I can do the same glitch so it works out there's nothing because you want to dim the B button and then press start and that'll put Deku stick on B which uh, yeah <laughs> just think about that for a second We're slowly but surely making our way across the field. <laughs> yes, King J, this is a glitch. This is a very glitched category of Ocarina of Time. Uh, if you're not very familiar with speedrunning, um, then this may be a little bit of a surprise to you, what I'm kind of doing right now. Oh, I forgot to split. God dang it. <laughs> I always forget that split. Just because I'm too shocked when I get it. So we need to walk through the water and then enter. So press start, and then now I have Deku stick on B. I don't know why I keep forgetting to split. I guess because I don't want to see it, but yeah. Anyway. Thanks for the heads up, blocks. now. Anyway. So now that we have Deku stick on B, this is kind of where craziness happens. So we're about to get ready to set up a glitch called RBA which stands for Reverse Bottle Adventure. 
because speedrunners are <laughs> clever nicknamers. So what we're gonna do right now is wake up Talon. This just this just uh this is just a small little thing just to get the cutscene done so we can get the um, Kojiro, which is the blue Kuko. So what we're gonna do now is catch the bugs, drop and catch the bugs. And when we now once we catch them, uh, catch them. So what we're gonna do is do a backflip, press bugs, and then press the sword button or press the B button, like so. So that's gonna make some weirdness happen and make a bottle appear on B. And when we catch the bugs, we're gonna have black gauntlets. Black gauntlets are a glitched item in the game. They have the same power uh, power up as fuck. <laughs> Let me do that. They have the same power up as um gold gauntlets, which means if we really wanted to, we could go to Ganon's castle and pick up the big granite thing and then get um and we can get the uh the double defense upgrade. But since we don't have uh Zelda's lullaby, we can't really do that since we door of time skipped. But yeah. <laughs> These black gauntlets are a very interesting item. Okay, now I really I want to be very careful and not press B. Because if I B, I will RBA po uh, Kojiro, and I don't want to do that just yet. So, now what we're going to do is head to Dodongo's Cavern as Adult Link. And as Adult Link, you really break that dungeon, so. <laughs> yeah. Make weird things happen, speedrun in a nutshell. Yep. <sighs> so how are you guys doing today? Or this morning or whatever time it is for you currently? It is currently 420. Blaze it. Blaze the shit out of it. <laughs> and for some reason as a doll link, the rock right here is not <laughs> it's not here we've never blown it up so it's just not there yay and since we picked up black gauntlets we can pick up anything <laughs> funny fact is that if you didn't get the black gauntlets uh, you couldn't pick up bushes even adult even as a doll leak you couldn't pick them up because as child link you don't you're not able to do that until you have the Goron bracelet and since we never picked it up, we had RBA black gauntlets. And the gauntlets color will change depending on the item you have, or the power upgrade you have. So if you had the Goron's bracelet, they would turn green when you RBA'd. And you can, well, like, obviously change the color of them. And you can get, like, bronze, you can get gold, um, and green. I'm pretty sure there's other colors, but I just definitely don't remember them. <laughs> This game doesn't change. It's only 7 a.m. Fix your life. <sighs> I probably should. Anyway, we hop across these. I actually made a mistake in routing just now. I just realized since I had no rupees, I couldn't buy Deku sticks in one of the shops. So I will have to do that on my way. I'll have to travel back to Kakariko after I do something here, which isn't a problem. It just wastes a little bit of time, but it's okay. So we'll be fine. But that was just one thing I had forgotten, so. Yeah. And as like I said, I cannot press B or else I will ruin what I've done up to this point. Anyway, so let's continue breaking Dodongo's cavern. Ouch. Black Islands of Glitchy Justice. It's 1221 over there. Well, oh, UK. Awesome. Got some UK viewers in here. Ready. 
Alright, so we do that little jump there, and that skips almost more of the entire dungeon, and we're able to get the bomb bag. Which, um, since we never picked up the bomb bag as child, we can't use those bombs. Even though I have the button on C down, uh, the game just, you know, just doesn't let you pick them up. So, for some reason, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It's like some kind of flag in the game. But now we have 20 bombs, so we're allowed to use bombs and get bomb pickups when necessary. And if we didn't do this, then we'd just not get bombs ever in the game, so... <laughs> yeah. Oh, a little bad, a little badly timed, but not a big deal. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is die. Norway is the capital of Sweden. So, we did that, all good and hand dandy. But now what we want to do is die, so... And this is mainly... We want to die and not save and then continue. Hey, Audacity. Sorry I missed you. Why am I not RBA and Kojiro? Because that is not what happens right now. I start questing, doing the magical RBA questing after this. But since I made a big routing mistake and did not uh, get rupees, I have to go. I have to go find some rupees and then buy two Deku sticks. So uh, we're taking a little detour from our adventure right now to find some rupees, hopefully. And this is all because I messed up one time in Zora's River and did the did the uh, navi uh, not the navi dive the uh, Zora's River River game twice. So fuck me. And this guy is talking. <sighs> so, unfortunately wasting some time here, but I don't really care. So hopefully we could find some decent amount of rupees. Oh, there's one. Get hyped. Up oh, to the rupee. Eight fifty four PM here in Australia. I got all the viewers from all over the world. What is going on guys? Fade Blitz, welcome to the stream. Wow, what is up guys? <laughs> it's awesome to have you guys here. <laughs> We're slowly getting rupees. Yeah. <laughs> if it gets to if if it gets really bad, I can just... Oh, bombs. Nice. I was not expecting to get those. Now, five isn't going to cut it, I'm afraid. Like, five is just not... It's just not... It's not what we can... We can't just work with that, so... We're going to go to Dompe's grave and steal some of his life savings. <coughs> There's always a free bomb drop here, so that's why you see a lot of speedrunners uh, farm bombs here. So we got 25, which is, I think, enough to buy two. I think Deku sticks should only be t 10 each, so. I mean, 10 rupees for a stick, that's kind of outrageous. Huh. <clears throat> So we're going to go ahead and buy two Deku sticks. Um, hopefully this doesn't mess anything up, honestly. But uh, since we don't have, we, since we can't normally have Deku sticks as an adult, uh, <clears throat> but we have it on B button, so we are allowed to use them, I guess. <clears throat> and two Deku stick jump slashes will kill the Dongo, slay the dragon, so that is the point of getting these two. And since we don't have a sword, we can't fight Dodongo with anything else other than just nothing. And you'll see later on how weird the glitch is. Like, having Deku sticks on B. Like, you'll see how weird it is in a second. So right now we're going to go fight Dodongo. So we're going to go ahead and catch, release our bugs, drop, release, whatever. 
That'll be ten rupees. <laughs> That'll be ten pieces of metal. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is back walk, land one, two. Press the C button. Oh, well, I missed it somehow. I don't think I was holding back. That's fine. It doesn't it just waste some time, but it's no big deal. So, unfortunately, I missed that little glitch right there, and I got hit by the keys. They're after me. Nice, guys. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so here we go. We're doing bottle... <laughs> yeah, we're just releasing bugs on the, the switch, and that allows us to climb up here and get to the door before it has enough time to close, because it's a good game. And I'm going to go ahead and click the five bombs in here because why not? It's five bombs. <clears throat> so now we have Steku Sticks. Even though you can't see it, we have it. Just, just trust me on that. <laughs> Even though it's like invisible. And pay attention because when I break the Deku Stick hitting Dodongo, it looks like a broken Master Sword. Like, <laughs> it's really bizarre. So, yeah. So we are facing the dragon holding our little <laughs> invisible stick here. <clears throat> so just fight him like you would normally. Take out the th jump slash him. Yeah, see the broken master sword just fly out of his hand? <laughs> Random. I actually want to take damage, so I'm going to be walking in the lava while I wait for this guy to turn around. And he went the other way. Dodongo, what are you doing, man? Come on. I never have annoying problems with Dodongo. There you go. Okay. I remember to split this time! <laughs> mm. Yeah. Did I just say Steku Dicks? I don't think I said that. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, so we killed the Dongo and the warp opens, and that would normally warp us to the cutscene, but we don't want to do that yet, so what we're going to do is take some damage. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing repeat and rinse. Uh, no save and continue. This is so we can start RBAing once more. So we're gonna head back to the grotto. Um. Oh wait, no, we don't do that just yet. So we're gonna head up to Dodongo's, or not Dodongo's, um, Goron City, sorry. It's late, and I'm, <laughs> if I'm having trouble explaining anything of this, uh, forgive me. <clears throat> I'm not used to talking like this this late, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, man, my throat hurts, but having a good time. So we're going to go ahead to DC and trade Kojiro, I think. <laughs> I think. I'm hoping that's what I do right now. Cause all I see right now is magic, so... Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy and give him Pocket Kuko. This is so he can give us the potion, and once again, we are gonna start RBA. And we have to go give the potion to the hag in the potion shop in Kakariko. There's a lot of backtracking in this route, so that's why I kind of find it a little peaceful and easy to run, because it's just... You go here, you go here, you do something, you go back. Pretty straightforward, so. Yeah. So as intended, we're going to head back to Kakariko. 
And on the way there to the potion shop, we are gonna pick up a fish. Doesn't that spinning pod do anything by the rock? What? The spinning pot. Oh yeah, the spinning pot. Uh, when you come as Young Link, there's a big pot here, and once you do that, if you throw a bomb into it, you can get a heart piece if it lands on the smiley face. Because smiley face equals you win. It's cool. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do a little roof jump here. It's kind of a weird finicky jump, but uh, if we can get the proper angle, which I don't think I. Oh, I got it. Okay. So we hop over here, a little shortcut, instead of going all the way around, and go into this hole to get a fish from, the, from this grotto here. Our buddy, the fish. And to do things like we did with RBA before, we need any kind of like thing you can catch in a bottle. Except a fairy, because that, uh, it's a one time use. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, go ahead and give her the odd mush. <laughs> yeah, bugs do have an almighty power of freezing physics. So we get the odd potion. A very, a very interesting thing to get. So we're heading back to Lost Woods to g continue the sword, the big Oron sword quest, as it is usually. Okay. Oh, it's night time. I always, this is the second time that's happened. <laughs> I forget that it's night, so. Unfortunately, my little shortcut, which would also help to go back to that, like, to back to the potion shop, isn't open. Which means I have to go around. <laughs> it's funny. Matrix bugs. So we have to go get the poacher saw from the little girl in the lost woods, which replaces the Kojiro guy. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. <sighs> I am really behind on my <laughs> time. That's, that's really bad run. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I knew I knew it was like a, about a minute behind, but I didn't know it was that behind. Damn. Oh, is it faster? Okay, thanks for the tip. I didn't really know. He just put the phone in the fridge. Nice. Oh, that's true because of the crazy West stuff you can do. <laughs> I forgot about all that. Yeah. You're right, Audacity. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. This is just for the 
simplicity of the run, I guess. Alright, so what we're going to do now is head up Death Mountain and get magic, which as you can see by my split, I'm about a minute off. <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> That's because of a lot of troll stuff that happened in this run. Such as, um, Master's, uh, Door of Time skip taking a long time. I don't know what's been going on with me in that skip. It's been pretty bad lately. And, um, I had to go get extra rupees, so. That's all a little time that I can save in a run I can do. And I hate this bomb throw, by the way. I don't know what it is. You can technically do a little jumpy thing to get through that, but, uh, eh, it saves like two seconds, so. So I'm doing a bomb slide right now, uh, super slide, sorry. Bomb slide? Super slide? I don't even know what the name of it is right now. <laughs> to come over here. Ugh, bad RNG. The Scotulas. Oh, thanks a lot for the follow. I hope you enjoy the streams that are in the future to come. Okay, so here comes a lot of craziness right now. So, what we're gonna do is RBA. Obviously. And this is to get bottle on B again. And that gives us Zelda's lullaby, I believe, so. So we gotta do. Oops. Oh god, I can't backflip. There we go. Oh shit. I just fucked everything up. <laughs> okay, my bad. Here, I have to make a bomb. <laughs> Super Sly Haters, good. Okay, so let me try that again. I accidentally messed up. So we're gonna play a bomb as an ocarina because this game is good. And we're able to play Zelda's Lullaby due to RBA being very nice to us. And the bomb explodes at us. Now, I'm kind of worried about my bomb count. It's not the worst it is, but I do need at least two of them. No, I need at least, like, maybe around four. At, at most, I'd like to have at least five, but we'll see what happens. I actually got... Wow, I got four follows, or three follows since the start of the stream. Wow, thanks a lot, guys. Unfortunately, I missed the quick text. Well, you can skip all this text if you mash on the same frame, like the exact frame when Link puts up his hands, and unfortunately, I missed it. So, <clears throat> we're here just sitting through all this text, four minutes behind my PB. Awful, awful. But, uh, some hype is about to go down right now. <clears throat> so, we get magic now, which is only used for the instance of doing things. So now we can save and reset. <clears throat> and this is to, once again, just, um, just to get Deku Stick back on B. Pretty much. And to get a good warp, I guess. <laughs> so we don't have to travel all the way down Death Mountain and back. And I forgot to split. Shoot. <laughs> I didn't want to see that split anyway, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess, yeah, I'm gonna have very low bomb count. It's actually kind of scary. <laughs> but, um,. Anyway, 
So on the way there, I'll go ahead and explain like some things about this game. At least things that I know. I'm not like an expert, obviously, but uh, basically this game has a meta game, like using certain movement to uh, get like very perfect glitch, like perfect glitches and angles. And I missed a super slide there. Not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna actually go for another one, making my bomb count even less than it was, and I got the super slide. So now I have two chances. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of going YOLO right now. I know. I'm do, I always do a very good job splitting in Ocarina of Time. I don't know why. <laughs> and I had a bad angle, so I couldn't keep the Hess going either. God damn it. So now we're going to head to Gerudo Valley, probably one of my favorite levels in this entire game. But it's also home of one of the most interesting glitches. So as I was saying, there's a meta game in this in Ocarina of Time, like using specific movement such as rolls, uh, side hops, and backflips to get perfect, like perfect uh, pinpoints of like where you want to do a glitch at. I'm not explaining this very well, but right now I'll just let you see. So. How are we going to get across this bridge? We need to get the broken knife. So, how are we going to do that? Let's find out if I can do this. So, a lot of... This is going to be a pretty clutch thing if I can do right now. First try. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Grab the edge. Climb up the edge. Target. Roll. 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 One, two, three, four, roll. One, two, three, four, roll. Side up, side up, roll, roll, side up, backflip, backflip, instant shield drop, roll, backflip. Now we're gonna pause the buffer, which I haven't done in uh, God knows how long, to get the frame where the blue, where the bomb is blue and it's getting like, it's about to explode. So it's like the big blue bomb. Right here, roll. Now I'm going to hit back on this frame, and one more frame, back flip. Alright, we made it across the ridge, welcome to Ocarina of Time. <laughs> and now we're going to trade the poacher saw, holy shit. Alright, there we go. So, um, we ha luckily have our one bomb, which is like the huge factor in this. So, um, what am I going to do here? Um, I forgot what I do. <laughs> Hold on, I got to think. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get bottle on B. I'm going to get bottle on B, I think. <laughs> I think that's what I do. I may have forgot. So I think I might have done this wrong by accident, but... Okay, so now we have 25 Deku Nuts. <laughs> and we gotta go to 13, so... Okay. So, now that has happened. We're gonna use our trusty fish here. And this gives us all the medallions, and now... You may be kind of interested to see what happens now. Yep, we are at the Zelda cutscene <laughs> where you get the light arrows. Oh, spoiler, Shika Zelda. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh 
Oh wow, Audacity, you're giving me some <laughs> totally new crazy things in the chat. Thanks. Um, yeah. <sighs> now, this is probably the part of the run where I'm just, like, most bad at. Like, I don't know why. I'm just not good at being careful, I guess. So, but yeah. <clears throat> this next part is kind of tricky. If I miss it, it sucks, like, a shit ton because I gotta do basically all what I've done up to this point, like, again. So, we're praying to Helix that I don't mess up. <laughs> Yeah, that setup is 2012, but uh, <laughs> I do love it. Gotta love Cosmo, right? Kappa. Have I thought about learning the most recent route? Um, I've sort of seen a few runs of it, <laughs> and I'm just like, this is way out of my league because I'm by no means good at this game. <laughs> Like, this is the only good uh, category I can actually, the only category I can actually do. Like, any percent is annoying, and I just, I don't know, I'm not that into any percent, so, I don't know. But for this new route, I uh, might consider it. I'd have to learn, uh, sort of list of time skip, and a lot of things, but, uh, that'd be interesting to try one day, but, I don't know. As for now, I'm just enjoying this uh, this old route because I don't know it's just a chill route and have fun no let helix die Oh, you don't actually have to sort list or of time skip now? That's interesting. <sighs> it's Princess Peach, I mean Zelda. You're actually a woman. Jeez, I've heard that one before. <laughs> Battle on Beach is a hundred times easier now, and faster now. That's interesting. Peach, lol. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Zelda, this game just doesn't look like Zelda to me. Like, I don't know. When I first saw this Zelda, I'm like, eh, that doesn't look like a Zelda to me. But, uh, I don't care. <laughs> All you need is a pool of water and something to catch in a bottle. Huh. If you want to PM me a run or something of like the new cur of like, with the strats you're talking about, Audacity, that'd be nice. I'll probably take a look into it. This cutscene is. This is why I hope I don't fail wrong warp. <sighs> like if I fail wrong warp and have to enter the the light, then I possibly have to just reset and watch this cutscene again, which will probably take another 
seven to eight minutes. We're about to get light arrows. I don't know how long this cutscene is. This cutscene is altogether. Yeah, I've, I've did a really bad job splitting this run. I don't know. <laughs> I was just always paying attention to the game. And Ganon comes in. Ganon comes in, trying to make up the tempo. Ganon comes in, trolling me a douchebag. Ganon comes in. Resident sleeper. I'm about to be that right now, I swear. <laughs> I still got a couple hours left into this stream as well, so. I got like another hour after this, I think. What time do I have set on my stream? 7 o'clock? Fuck. <laughs> That's actually not too bad, but I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next hour and a half. <laughs> if you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Oh. Alright, so one of the things that happened after we wrong warped is that we now have Nehru's love on... Is that... No, it's far as wind. Stupid. So what you want to do is come in, press B, set the warp in here. Now here comes the hardest part in the run. I don't know why this is the hardest part for me. Like, even next to... Okay, it's not the hardest, I'll say. But it's definitely one of the most tense, because... Although about to be the end, um, I don't know. It's still ratio fail. And I know there's probably a setup to get into the warp, which I'll be doing in a minute. Uh, but I don't know how to do the setup. I just know that you can inch your way in slowly, very slowly, and just get in there. All such Ganon, much evil. Wow. Fuck. I hope that doesn't do shit. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I almost just fucked up the run right now. <laughs> well, not fucked it up, but I almost did something stupid. Mashing B to swim is not good, I say. Alright, so now we have to head back to Dodongo's Cavern, DC, one more last time. Hopefully for the last time. And if I don't get this, then you guys can just watch it on my stream highlights, because... Meh. I can actually PB, which is scary. <laughs> I think. I'm not gonna say for sure, but it's possible. Farrer's wind sounds weird if you're British. Is that true? So we're gonna use our fishy, our lucky fishy. And do the same setup we did last time. Alright, so here we go.
Okay. So, right when it is about to void out. And, moment of truth. We did it. Alright. <laughs> we we PB'd too. Wow. <laughs> there it is, guys. The glitched ending. <laughs> Wow, Woo. that was that was probably I was, my heart was pounding through that. <laughs> wow, all right, there you have it. And now enjoy this beautiful ending. As I said before, if you paid attention to the Temple of Time before, it may look a little interesting now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, <sighs> Navi flies into nothingness. by Navi. And we have a Dalt Link at the end, so <laughs> there you go. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you for being here to watch and witness this great game <laughs> being busted. Sorry that my time isn't, you know, really good, but I PB'd and that's good enough for me, I guess. Four minutes down, and then I say 59 seconds on wrong warp. <laughs> what even? <laughs> she doesn't even say goodbye, that bitch. <laughs> hey. So the true ending to this game is that there you go. <laughs> For a long time, this uh, this ending like scene even was like really all like it was thought to be impossible. Be people have seen it like you know because of hacking, but everybody thought it was impossible until they found out you could do this. So this used to be the only way you can get this ending is to hack the game, <laughs> but uh, this was done legit on Wii VC. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the speed run. Um